everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an at-home DNA extraction, which is pretty easy and you can do with materials that you already have in your kitchen and maybe a few supplies from the grocery store. Let's get started. So here's what we're going to need. Whatever we choose to extract the DNA from, if this can be bananas, onions, peas, strawberries, but make sure you have it on hand and ready to go. Next up, we're gonna need a lysis buffer, which I will tell you how to make that in the description below. But basically what it is, is water, detergent, and a little bit of salt. We're gonna need some rubbing alcohol, and this should be ice cold for the experiment. So if you have some in a first aid kit, that's great. If not, pick some up at the grocery store. Just isopropyl alcohol, hopefully 90% or greater. If not, that's okay, um, but keep it cold before the experiment. You're gonna need a plastic baggie, some measuring tools, and I'll tell you what the measurements are in typical kitchen measurement. You're gonna need a paper towel or a coffee filter, and then something to actually pour the DNA extraction into. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So today we're gonna to extract DNA out of the cells of this banana, and we're gonna extract it from lots and lots of different cells. If I just took DNA out of one cell, there would be no way for me to be able to see it, but because we're gathering DNA from all of these cells in the banana, it's gonna be a little bit easier to see with the naked eye. So I want you to make a prediction on what you think this DNA is gonna look like by the time we extract it. You wanna take your banana, we're gonna peel it, and then we're gonna take our Ziploc bag, we're gonna place our banana parts into the Ziploc bag. Seal it shut, make sure we get any air out of it. All right, and now we're gonna squish this banana for a few minutes till we wanna completely squash this fruit. So we wanna make a really soupy banana kind of smoothie mess. And you wanna press down with your fingers. You don't wanna slam the bag up and down on a table because that might break the bag and then you're gonna end up with a big mess. When you do with this, this with strawberries or peas, you might have a little extra liquid. Um, so just make sure you're being very careful as you're mashing it up. All right, here we go. And we wanna make sure as we're doing the mashing that we're getting all the chunks out. So we wanna make it pretty smooth um, so that there are not really any little chunks of our material left. Part of what we're doing here is breaking down the cell walls in this plant. So the mashing actually helps with this. If you need to get any air out at any point, feel free to open up the bag. It won't contaminate your sample or anything. And then we wanna feel for any chunks, make sure there's no more banana chunks. Okay, and when it's pretty soupy like this, you wanna get kind of a banana smoothie looking consistency, then you know that you're ready. Now we're gonna get 10 milliliters of our extraction buffer and put it into our banana mash. Now 10 milliliters in our American kitchens is about two teaspoons. So we're gonna take a teaspoon measure and measure about two teaspoons into here. Now if you have more precise measurement tools in your home, feel free to use those. All right, so that's one teaspoon. And that's two teaspoons. Okay, so that is our lysis buffer. We're gonna close up the bag again, get some of the air out, and we're gonna squish this for a few more minutes. We wanna make sure this lysis buffer is really worked into our banana. Try not to make any big so soapy bubbles as we're doing this. So you don't wanna mash too much. But remember this lysis buffer is made of dish detergent and NACL or table salt. And we're just gonna really work it in to our solution. Try not to make a lot of soap bubbles. Okay, after we're done mixing that, we're next going to filter our solution through a paper towel into the container we wanna do our extraction in. But you can also use a coffee filter, those look re work really well. And I recommend doing this with a partner or a family member who can hold the sides of your paper towel down so it doesn't drop into your cup. If your paper towel breaks, you can always do it again, but tr if you've only made enough solution for one extraction, then you might be in trouble. All right, so there we go. You don't wanna to put too much in. All right, so that's good enough to start. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna wait, and this could take several minutes, but we wanna collect about three milliliters of liquid. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. It's time to check on my banana filter. So it looks like from the bottom here, I don't know if you guys can see this very well, we've got a thin layer of solution. It's about three milliliters. I think it's gonna be enough to get us going with the rest of the extraction. So what we're gonna do is remove this very carefully. And now if you can see in the bottom, we still have that solution that we're gonna be working with. Now we wanna get our isopropyl alcohol. And remember this has been 
sitting on ice so that it stays cold. I washed this while we were waiting. And we want to get about five milliliters. So that's about one teaspoon. And so we're going to pour this very carefully. Add it to our solution. It's easier if you pour it down the side. So now we're going to wait about three more minutes. So I'm going to leave the camera on and we'll see what we can see in the next few minutes. All right, let's take a closer look. So if you look inside, you might see this kind of whitish bubbly film that's risen to the top. Then what you can do is you can take a little toothpick or something similar and you can spin it around in your solution and you can gather up your DNA. So it looks like this boogery kind of gross mess, but that is your DNA. Um, and I'll try to get a better scoop out of here. There we go. Pretty much there we go all right so that's what we're looking at here this is our dna there are other procedures out there online that show you how to do this with cheek cells again strawberries peas bananas onions i've seen it done with all of those before so have fun trying this on your own if you don't have the materials at home make sure you go back and watch the steps of this dna extraction carefully and enjoy doing more experience in your at-home lab thanks everyone